exciting episode of Kofsi Stories Before the Year 3000. I'm Tobeko Noila, your host, and today we are joined by Temba Khum. Temba is a well-known social media influencer, and today we're going to find out a little bit about, about his life, and maybe he'll tell us how he got to where he is right now. So, Temba, hello. Yeah, how are you? I'm good at you. Are you fine? I am trying to be fine. I hope I hope you well, though. Yeah, so we are honored to have you today yeah. as our guest. And of course, we want to know who you are, yeah. where you're from, and you just showed up to our social media like there's this guy, and this guy is doing something exciting about his life. Yeah, we'll get into that. Okay, so, so we want to know basically yeah. who's Temba. So Utemba, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of mix my, my English with because I kind of I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't believe that in Africa we should be speaking only English. So. Timber's originally from the Eastern Cape. Timber born, was born in Joburg and then at the Ilanga stage, went to Queenstown and all of that, studied in Queenstown, went to Queen's College. He's an old boy, he's basically an old boy. And yeah, Timber's just a guy that, that has a lot of to give out there. Yeah. He has, we, yeah. We were basically introduced to you or you were introduced to us through social media. Yeah. Um, so we want to know when the journey started. So basically the journey started around 2016. So I got into social media with basically just 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 doing just just making jokes and all of that. I was just came up with it. Like I'll make jokes about everything. I'll make jokes about current events. And then kind of that led to me getting booked for you know, getting booked by people and all of that. Getting being on TV all the time and all of that. And then I think I kind of, as the years went by, I kind of grew out of that. I grew out of, out of making jokes and all of that. I'm no longer, I'm weird, funny now. So I'm, you basically changed into yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I kind of changed. I kind of grew out of it. And then I found social media that let me use my social media purposefully. Let me use it to change lives. Let me use it to grow myself. Let me use it to affect other people's lives positively. You know, it's not all about me. It's also about other people, yeah talking about impacting lives yeah. we want to basically know what led you to do what you do yeah. like what drives your content because yeah. we can see that the content that you put out there is basically very much different from a lot of social um, influences so we want to basically know yeah. why this the question. why question this question that you asked me is very it's very it's kind of sad on it's, it's it's like emotional on my side so I started doing a lot of charity work since last year, like this, like from last year, January. So I got out of varsity because of a lot of reasons and all of that. And then when I was outside and I was at home, I was, I'm from Asia, like from the Eastern Cape, at Bofolo, Fort Beaufort. So when I was there, I saw a lot of poverty. You know, I remember going to a guy's home, my brother was doing research, going into a house. And then I was told, this guy literally told us that we're asking about the salaries and all of that. How do they, how do they fend for themselves? How do they get a, make a living? And then there was a lady there who was disabled. And then there was this guy that was sitting there. The guy said that in this household, do you know that we live off 100 rand? Like, no, we live, we live off 500 rand a month. And the only way that, and this, even this 500 rand is from this lady that is sitting there that's disabled in this household. The only way for us to actually get more and actually do well in this house household is that I go outside there and I rob people and I just get something. So that's where it kind of started because I started realizing that we may not realize it, but we're privileged. We're privileged to have a plate on the table. We're privileged to have social media where we can impact people's lives and we can kind of say, Kubeko is here. Let me give Kubeko an opportunity to be seen by the world. You know, I have a guy like Soso. Soso now is going to the New York University to study theater. Soso was a guy that was worked in a garage. We gave a platform and said, okay, cool. Tyler Perry can, you know, Tyler Perry is going to be in South Africa here and there. Let's also audition for him. So you basically use your platform to connect yeah. people. Yeah, that's, that's what right. I use my, 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 my social media for. I also use it like literally just to, to give back, more to give back, to give back to the people, you know, the downtrodden people, the people that, are, that don't have anything, that don't have hope. Yeah. Well, I want to know basically, like, 
the process of it. Yeah. Um, because as an individual, you have a lot going on. And um, we spoke earlier that yeah. you recently, not recently, but you got back into the whole student life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you just mentioned now that you had to drop out and come back. Right? Yeah. Um, and having a lot that you're currently doing with your business, with yeah. the work that you do, what process do you have in place for when someone wants help from you? Yeah, so for me, basically, I try to avoid the situation where there's a lot of structure. When, for me, like when I have to go to meetings or I have to go to, I answer a lot of emails, that kind of, for me, kind of gets me depressed a bit. I do, I like, like scenarios where there's not much structure, where people can literally come up with their stories, can DM me. Someone can DM me or can just pass me an email. But I've also realized in that situation that I need to work with things that are close to my heart. I need to work with, because some people can lie to you and say that I come from a, dis like there was this other guy this other day, he said he needs one million. I, I was privileged in him saying that I wish I had money that was, but yeah, let's, 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 let's. You have a platform for someone to yeah. come and say, please yeah. help me, let me yeah. get a million. Yeah. So that means you do have impact in people's lives. Yeah. And now moving on to the part that's a bit controversial. I think I also got to know Timber through <laughs> um, the negative things that people had yeah. to say about you. And yeah. actually today I was sitting with my team and I asked them, you guys know Timber, you know who he is. So what did he do to people specifically that they have so many negative things to say about him? And even through the work that you do, yeah, yeah. people are always having like negative things to say. Why I think, is that? I think people, people kind of, you know, even celebrities, you know, I may name a lot of people, but I would like to preserve their names. A lot of people hate competition. A lot of people hate like an average, an average young individual coming up there and going battle head to head with them. But something that's social yeah. shouldn't involve competition. If you're trying yeah. to help someone's life, it yeah. shouldn't be a competition. So it goes to show that even the people that we look up to have certain yeah. intentions. Yeah, yeah. And to, to, you know, a lot of people, like I remember I've recently, Zinzi Mandela now is in court and all of that because of, remember when you were building that house and all of that, white people, you know, our, our counterparts, 1652 kind of got into the situation where it was an argument and then it overwhelmed that people started talking about land. You know, we talk about red land redistribution. So a lot of people do not like, do not like when you have the capability of changing people's lives. People do not like a person, a person that can sometimes it's just helpful. People don't like people that are of influence and that sometimes it's, it's normal, I understand. And sometimes, you know, I also, I also feel as if I owe the world, you know, like South African apology. Because, because I got to a state where, I think last year, I got to a state where I kind of was also not in a state to be tweeting or to be putting stuff out there. You know, I got to a very depressed state and all of that. And then... So you were not being... Since you were not being... I, I, I wasn't... It's, you were in a good state. Yeah. That yeah. That will help other people. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of got into a situation where i will put something out there and not be well informed by it. Not having read the newspaper and all of that. So, but I feel as if I, I, I owe people an apology. No, 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 no. People, 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 people hate what they do not know sometimes. So I kind of feel like that. Sometimes they just hate me because I'm just, yeah, I'm just there. I, yeah, I'm just existing. So it's just one of those things sometimes. But I feel as if to the people that I've offended, people that I've, I don't understand me and people that I kind of got when I when I post a lot of missing people I I apologize to but I not I don't apologize for not for being true to myself yeah yeah. Um, people do not get, or people in South Africa do not understand the social part of yeah. life. Yeah. Because I know even a social entrepreneur like yourself could be misunderstood. Yeah. Now, going back to your social media team, <laughs> um, we, uh, I realize that um, it's mostly based on your work, right? Yeah. The content that you put out there. Yeah. Do you think that your social media represents Temba the person? Yeah, I think definitely it does because I'm a giving person, you know, like I'm a giving person, the person that likes, 
like my Timbalate, my full name is Timbalate, which is basically means our hope. You know, it's, it's a powerful name. It carries a lot of it carries a lot of weight sometimes because I also need to deal with myself. I need to, you know, focus on myself. But I've kind of understood along the lines, along the years that my name is powerful and it needs it I need to I need to embrace it whether I like it or not. So I always feel as if I'm a servant for the people. For me, studying politics and doing everything is that I want to give people proper service. Uh-huh. Unlike what we've been giving, getting for the past 24 years, I want to give people an opportunity and say that, okay, you come from the township, you can act. Okay, now let's take you to New York University. Let's make you compete against the best in the world. And you know, we, and you find a person like Soso that has done that. Now literally Soso is getting He's, gonna, he's, he's literally in New York now. He's doing well for himself. So that's also like what I'm about. I'm about, I'm about change. I'm about doing what other people don't want to do. The hard work that politicians don't want to do. Because pol- people may see politicians as these people that come up and, and all of that, but they're not, they're not effective. Let's provide a sphere where us as the citizens find that we can do things for ourselves. We can do things for people. You don't need to literally focus on the president and everyone else. Yeah. Well, I like the fact that you're starting to even realize that you are in the forefront of a movement yeah. that's all about change, yeah. that's all about social innovation even. And, but then I want to now know what else are you doing? What else interests you in the movement? Yeah. I know this person that you know, loves yeah. to help out, that <laughs> offers help. So now... We want yeah. to know what else do you do? What else interests you? So I'm right now. I am. I'm, I just recently got into business, and I'm enjoying that. I'm, I'm learning a lot from that at a young age. Right now, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning about things that I. I'm doing well. I'm not. I, I wish I was doing better, but I'm learning a lot from even from you. I'm learning a. Lot, <laughs> I'm learning a lot about what business you know needs, what business demands of me, which type of lifestyle I should live. And you know, along the lines when, when, when I came into varsity the first time, I you know, I only had a sphere of mind of being very naive of the world. And now I kind of have a broader a broader you know, a broader yeah, yeah, different perspective of what life is about. And then you mentioned that yeah. um, you faced or you were challenged with depression last year. Yeah. Um, what then brought about change? What changed so, from like, the timber that yeah, you are yeah. now? Yeah, because I think that that kind of, you know, social media sometimes is, is a very huge help. So I kind of met a mentor, I, a very big minister, let me put like in South Africa and all of that. So that kind of brought someone that had meaning, that kind of directed my life. So. I asked him to be my mentor and all of that. I also asked a lot of, I asked one other person, which, Fiki Lembalula, yeah, I asked Fiki Lembalula, and I'm happy that I did it now. Like, we kind of had our, like our, our, yeah, disagreement, so we kind of ended that friendship, but we still see eye to eye and all of that. But the minister kind of put a lot of light into my life, so I, I kind of, I kind of got a lot of opportunity. You know, there were things that I didn't know about, funding you know applying for funding and stuff like that I kind of he introduced me to a world that wasn't there you know yeah you know that wasn't exist that's why I kind of also felt the privilege to also do something you know give back because I'm privileged as it is about the statement that you can't give what you have because a lot of people say that to me um, and I just feel like so, you know, you know one thing. One thing I think I've also I kind of understood around the years is that I shouldn't lie to myself and lie to people. I always need to be true to myself because. So it doesn't have to be physical, material yeah, things that you yeah. give. Sometimes, sometimes, yeah, it's just it just has to be opportunities. Let me not lie to myself and say that, Gubeko, I can give you, I can I can raise money for you and all of other business. No, I cannot do that sometimes. I can help you out in, in doing whatever you, you want, you know, if you're f- like you short of fees and all of that. I can get you, I can put you in contact with friends that I know that can help you. But sometimes I cannot physically have the money, you know. Even if I have, I cannot, I cannot give, I cannot give what I have or do not have. 
So basically, what with it, I kind of, I kind of just literally, I, I kind of just go around with whatever is around me. If you ask for something, I, I will try to meet your demand. But then the last pressing question, yeah. which I think a lot of people would want to hear is, are you dating? Are you <laughs> so, so I like, I think I'm going to try to answer your question. I'm going to, I'm going to try because I try to keep my private life very private because I've learned along the years that when you, when you, when you're working and you, be, you know, working really hard and pushing, you become a target. So when people want to get to you, they get to your partner and they get you. So I try to, by all means, to keep my private life private. Uh, so now we're not going to get the answer. The answer is, the answer is, I'm working on myself. I'm working on getting closer to God. I'm working with, I'm working on just literally just being me. I'm have working. you always been a Christian? Actually, I also want to ask that. Yeah, I have, I have, but you know, Along this Christian journey, you always have shortcomings every now and then. But I've, I've always, I've always been a Christian. I've always been. What do you have to say about Christianity now? Seeing the state yeah. where people are anti and some yeah. are just not sure of whether or not they believe in Christianity or Jesus. You know, you know, you know. Christianity, Christianity is a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey of, of meaning. It's a journey of becoming. It's a journey of understanding also yourself. You know, I think I also got to a stage where I had to sit down and say that now you're not living a godly life. You know, for me, by the way, I got, I got like a matric. I got almost shot. So that kind of put in the Christian and all I realized that I'm not living accordingly. So in this world, I don't want to lie, in this world, if you so don't base your life. that's actually what led you to do the work that you do. Yeah, yeah. You, you realize that you don't have a purpose, you must start doing something. Yeah, if, if you don't have a purpose, the devil will always use you. You'll get, you know, you'll get, you'll see something bad to do. So I always realize that. I think with this life that I'm given, Timber, let's make, let's, 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 let's go out on a high. Let's do something. Let's, 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 let's help people out. Let's create a business. Let's create a cycle where people literally identify you as an individual that is there for change. A pe individual that people can identify as there, as loving of South Africa, a person that is there to create a social, to, to, to eradicate, to eradicate other things that, that are literally out there. You know, to create a platform where we can simply say that this guy lived, lived a life that was fully. He lived fully, he loved, he, you know, he showed help, he showed whatever that people required of him. Yeah. Well, you do quite a lot of great work, Tim, I have to say. And um, I recently checked your so social media and I saw that so many people, besides all the negative things that people have to say, so many people look up to you. So many people, even your age, are inspired by the work yeah. that you do. So what do you have to say to them? I just, I just, I just want to say that I, I really appreciate, you know, I really appreciate the high esteem people hold me at, and I really appreciate how people always retweet. I pre appreciate the love, I appreciate the donations, I appreciate the, the help, and I appreciate, I appreciate the helping hand people. Like, so people don't realize it, South Africans are very kind people. Black or white, black, black whatever. whatever. Pink, orange, and Indian. Indian. Like, South Africans are very kind people. Mm -hmm. When we land, when we work together, we can create a better South Africa. Yeah. We so what are, you, what are your plans now? My plans now, my plans now is just to, um, I think this, on my birthday, I'm opening a club. It's on the 29th of October. You can buy me cake, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm opening a club, an other club. I am, I think I'm, re I'm recently going to start my channel. My channel is basically, it's like basically life on the road with me. You go get to see, what I do, you get to see local celebrities and all of that. You get to see interactions with people. Like, I don't, I, I don't like things that are structured. You get to see the fun side of me. You know, you get to see... The real time. Yeah, the real me. Because people always have this, you know, they have this perspective that is outside there. They don't know the real me. You know, I'm, I'm trying to give people the real me, the real fun me and all of that. So people should expect that. 
People should expect a lot of laughing, people should expect a lot of tears, people should expect a lot of love. So we shouldn't have any expectations? You'll see. Okay. Just check, just check my social media. People should just follow and just check and, and just literally be... I think people should also engage, engage with me and all of that. I'm very, I answer all everyone, I answer everyone and all of that and then just engage and let's just, let's just create positive change in this country. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us yeah. and thank you for giving us this chance to actually talk yeah. to you. And I think we're actually the first to talk to Temba <laughs> and find out who Temba is. So thank you very much. And that's it from us. Thank you for joining us. Do subscribe, do like, do comment. And yeah, just follow our social media accounts and see you next time in our next episode.